Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens. In this episode, we're doing an unboxing of The British Way, Counterinsurgency at the End of Empire. This is from GMT Games, designed by Stephen Rang Rangazis. Excuse me if I say that incorrectly. This is in the coin series, but this is an interesting twist on the coin series. This is a multi-pack of four different uh, counterinsurgent operations, if you will, with the British as the common belligerent in all four of them, and in four other areas. This is counterinsurgency at the end of empire. So as Britain's empire was shrinking in on itself, these are four different uh, areas of conflict that they were having to resolve. So let's look at this one, see what you get inside. I think each, each, each one is a two-player game, but can be played solo. So in fact, it says on the side here, uh, the uh, conflicts are Palestine from 45 to 47, Malaya from 48 to 60, Kenya from 52 to 56, and Cyprus 55 to 59. This is, I don't believe this actually includes any kind of solo AI flowcharts. Uh, we'll find out, but uh, based on my reading, uh, uh, this is, you really are, you'd have to true solo it, playing both sides. You would not uh, play against an AI. Um, but coin games are usually pretty easy to play uh, true solo that way. So um, let's just take a look. You can also string all four together and play one, you know, play one after the other and kind of like a campaign game, I believe. So I like the artwork on the cover. Uh, very nice. So we start with the British Way campaign booklet on the wonderful GMT matte finish paper you know so this is just the uh the end of empire campaign this covers how to play all four of them together campaign event notes and then has designer notes and uh, additional um, historical background that you're going to want to want to read to kind of understand what's going on Then we have the rules of play for each, for this is for the Palestine scenario. Rules of play for Cyprus, rules of play for Malaya, rules of play for Kenya. So you get a rule book for each individual game, which also has its own individual uh, mounted board, I believe. So in each one, we'll go over one here as an overview. It shows you what the map's gonna look like, the different cubes you're gonna use. I'm sure there's some sharing of cubes, so you can end up with actually four different games. Uh, your sequence of play, and obviously each game is going to have its own different rule sets. So um, I'm kind of especially interested in the Palestine, 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 which is actually just Israel, um, uh, the Israeli homeland, because I'm reading uh, Leon Uris's classic book Exodus, which was written in the 1950s, I believe following covers this whole period of uh, post-World War II um, creating the, the uh, Israeli state. So very interesting. It was uh, kind of disappointing to see how Britain behaved throughout this. So kind of anxious to, uh, to see this played out in a, in a, uh, in a coin game. So then we go through and we get the rules. Obviously, of the, in some of the various cards, uh, and then event tips and background for the various cards. The Paul Mock. Yeah, all this is really ringing true from the book. So, and then the setup instructions there. So, in each one, each book has a picture of the map board and the setup. You can see the uh, Cyprus setup on the back of the Cyprus book, the Malaya setup on the back of the Malaya book, and the Kenya setup on the back of the Kenya book. And here we go. We've got our various player reference cards. I guess because there was overlap, that's why they didn't produce these as individual game. But in a multi-pack here, you get everything at once. So 
Get two reference cards for the Palestine Israeli scenario. It says what the Ergen can do and the special activities and what the British can do in their special activities. So one for each player. And then two for the Malaya. Same thing, what the MCP can do, what the British can do. Mau Mau in Kenya, what they can do, what the British can do. And then finally Cyprus, we have the Ioka, Ioka, -E they can do. And again, surprisingly, what the British can do on the back. And then we've got how to handle propaganda rounds from Malaya and Palestine. How to handle propaganda rounds for Kenya and Cyprus. End of Empire campaign. Play order. I guess you play all the boards at once because you play Palestine. Oh, you play you play them in this order. Palestine, then Malaya, then Kenya, then Cyprus. And you apparently track on this whole campaign map. Free war options tables. Jewish Agency, Labor Unrest in Malaya, Nairobi Repression in Kenya, and Ioka Preparations in Cyprus. And then we have counters. Markers. Oh, they're just punching out. Oh, there's some blank ones here. So you've got British control and the various faction controls here. Mau Mau, MCP, Surrender, Resist, Villages, new village markers, curfew, the Haganah. So these are going to be sorted. You're going to use the particular ones for your scenario, obviously, but they're all here together. British exit, British influence, scuttle, surrender, sabotage, post surrender. Various markers. Just a few markers. There's going to be some wood tokens in here at the bottom, I'm sure. Now we got our map boards. So we will take a look here. This is the uh, Kenya map. These are small boards. They're four panel. And that lovely, you know, coin, coin style with clearly defined regions. Very nice. On the back of that one, we have the Cyprus map. Very few regions here. Galilee, Haifa, Samaria, Lydda, Jerusalem, the region, Jerusalem, the city, Tel Aviv, Yava, Gaza, and Egypt is out of play, Transjordan is out of play, Syria and Lebanon are out of play. Oh, and you can, you have a prison. Put units in prison. And on the other side, we're going to have Malaya, I bet. That was right. Got various, got a commander transition here. Gurney goes to Briggs, goes to Templar. So those are the two maps. And then we have two dice, blue and a red. So we'll say red is Britain. And it is a tie. And then we've got a bag of wooden pieces and clearly there is some overlap between you know you're just going to share these between the four different scenarios bag of wooden pieces and then we've got two decks of cards so we've got the ones for cypress and malaya showing i'm kind of surprised um i believe it was for plains indian wars all the decks came pre pre-sorted but it's not a big deal. I mean, it's just, you just have to unwrap them to get to the one you want for the game you want. So we have the Malaya deck. And you sit through that. So there's the Malaya deck and then we've got the Palestine deck. And then we've got some extra cards here for the end of empire. Early period, early period cards, which are new events that happen. 
So the decks are small, so like, and they're labeled. So this is P1 through P35. So only 35 cards for the uh, Israeli scenario. And there are 35 cards for the Malayan scenario. If you've played coin games before, you're familiar with how this works. And then we've got Cyprus. I'm guessing another 35 cards. Yep. And Kenya. It was about 35. 35 for the Kenya cards. Oh, all right, nope. Get them mixed together here. All right, so the Kenya deck. Israeli deck, and then we've got late period for the end of empire events as well. If you pick up a copy of the British Way Counterinsurgency at the End of Empire, a coin multi pack, you are going to get those two small decks of End of Empire cards. You're going to get the four decks for each scenario. You're going to get that nice bag of wooden pieces for all four scenarios. You're going to get those two dice. Let's see, we got a tiebreaker here. Britain's not doing well. Let's see what happens. Oh, three to one. Insurgents win. You're going to get those two double sided mounted maps, one for each scenario dedicated. You're going to get one sheet of necessary markers. The end of our end of empire campaign tracking map, along with pre-order options tables. You're going to get the instructions, double-sided instruction cards for the propaganda rounds for each scenario. You're going to get two copies of each of the operations cards, two copies of each for each of the four scenarios. So eight of those. You're going to get the rule book for each. Uh, 24 page rule book for each of the scenarios Kenya, Malaya, Cyprus, and Israel Palestine, and the British Way campaign booklet with instructions of how to play all four of these scenarios in a campaign game. And that is everything that comes in the British Way counterinsurgency at the end of Empire, designed by Stephen Rangazis. A coin multi-pack number one from GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!